It is a rainy day here in Manhattan, but I have two brand new RF Canon lenses for you. I think you're gonna like them. To start off, we have the RF 50 millimeter 1.8 STM lens. Now, this is going to be very familiar if you ever shot with the EF version, but there are some differences. The second one we have here is a 70 to 200 F4 L series lens. Again, something you might be familiar with for the EF version, but I think you're going to enjoy some of the differences, especially in this one. So let's get shooting. Starting off with the 50 millimeter lens, one of the things I was incredibly impressed with is the control slash focus ring. You are able to program this like many of the RF lenses, but this control ring is smooth. It doesn't have that click. It was a lot of fun to shoot with and I chose to use it to control my white balance and dial my Kelvins. Normally when I dial in my Kelvins, I like looking at the photo, getting a feel for it, not caring so much about the numbers. This allowed me to do just that while shooting. This 50 millimeter is very versatile, but we used it for shooting portraits. I was really impressed with how well it handled a backlight situation. I didn't get really any haze or cloudiness to the image. It was perfectly crisp. It's also great for focusing up close with a 0.3 meter focusing distance. I can get right up to my model. Now this lens does not have image stabilization built in, but when you pair it with a camera like the R5 or the R6, you're going to get up to seven stops of image stabilization because those cameras have IBIS. If you're a photographer that's just starting out, maybe you bought a camera with a kit lens, this is always my next recommended buy. It's a nice, fast, prime lens. It's gonna give you very quiet focusing. It's great for portraits, groups, a little bit of landscapes, and because of that really close focusing distance, you can do a lot of detail shots. Now, if you already have the EF version of this lens, you're going to be fairly familiar with its weight and size. But one of the advantages of going with this lens is it's going to be a lot smaller than mounting it to the adapter for the EF version of the lens, and you'll get the control ring. I think you're gonna be pretty happy with this light, compact, affordable option in a prime lens. And if you already have the RF 85 or 35, this is definitely something you wanna to add to your bag. Let's move on to the RF 70 to 200 F4 lens. This lens does have image stabilization built right in, so you're going to get up to five stops of stabilization with the lens and then pair it with a body like the R5 or R6, and you'll have up to 7.5. It is dark here in the studio, so I was really happy to have that much image stabilization, shake correction, because I was shooting all the way down at 1 50th of a second. My ISO was pumped up high around 5,000. It was that dark in here, so being able to go lower on my shutter speed prevented me from going even higher on my ISO. Now, you might be noticing how small this lens is, and if you're familiar with the RF 24 to 105 f4 lens, it's right around the same size, just a little bit longer. And I think it's actually a little bit lighter. So it's a lens that you can easily pack right in your bag. In fact, these two lenses definitely make for a nice pair covering a wide variety of focal lengths, all at an f4 constant aperture. This lens has dual nano USM motors, which means that it's super smooth, super quiet focusing and very minimal focus breathing. So video users are gonna like this. Practical use for this lens would be for portrait photographers, sport photographers, and wedding photographers, definitely. Now it's a lens that is at F4, so you'd probably want to use it outside or somewhere where you have a little bit of light. Although that contradicts what we did today because being able to go all the way down on my shutter, even in low light, going all the way down to F4, I really didn't have a problem. Weather resistance is the same as an L-series lens. Well, it is an L-series lens, so you don't have to worry about taking it out in the rain like I just might do later today. One of the differences is that this does extend when you zoom in, but one of the really great improvements is that the EF version of this lens minimum focusing distance was one meter. This one is only 0.6 meters, so you're able to get in a little bit closer, maybe even get some detail shots like I would at a wedding reception. 
I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these two brand new RF lenses from Canon. I know I enjoyed shooting with them. My name is Vanessa Joy here for Adorama TV. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, ring the bell, and of course, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. I'll see you next time. And yes, I said ISO and ISO all together, all at once. Appease everyone. <laughs> all right.